What's going on, man? It's your boy Joseph at Ballin' on the Budget. And y'all know if y'all see that sign, y'all know where we at. My man Blake, my homeboy Levi in the back. Today's video, I'm giving y'all an update on the wheels because a lot of people want to know how the mini tub and frame knocks has been going on the build. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna show y'all the update, man. Uh, we made a lot of progress in about this week and a half. But like I said, I'm not rushing them. They're gonna take the time to do it right. We're doing it right the first time. All right, so I'm gonna flip the camera around. All right, guys, so here go the front. As y'all can see, he uh, heated up the frame and kind of pushed it in some so that we can have a full U-turn with turning. And on this side, we got a frame notch so that the tire can get full turning radius. And I'm gonna show y'all the uh, mini tub. So back here, as y'all can see, the fab work. He had cut it to the frame and he replaced this section here with, what was it, a quarter, a quarter, yeah, a quarter inch plate of steel. A plate of plate steel. Of plate of steel. There was plastic cut out. Plasma cut. Oh, plasma cut, sorry y'all. Plasma cut with, for a quarter inch of steel, for those that don't know, that's this right here. Some, pretty thick stuff uh but that's what that's what we have right here to replace that and this is the mini tub it's in his rough stages he's gonna grind everything down smoothing out you know for those that's gonna nitpick in the video but it's one big piece and this is actually bent it's not two separate pieces he says so it's all one piece and it's smoothing out here and then i'm gonna show y'all what the trunk look like as y'all can see, it's not a real big mini tub. I thought it was gonna be bigger than that, but it's not. So it's in its rough stages right now. It's gonna get grinded down, smoothing out. And besides, we're gonna uh, be putting Dynamat or uh, what is it, Scorpion? Uh, scorpion coating, yeah. Yeah, Scorpion or Dynamat, whatever. The stuff is gonna go inside here. Y'all get the picture. So y'all not even gonna see this as far as how it looks, but it's gonna get smoothing out better than what it is right now. Now I walk on this side. So, like I said, mini tub is it's complete. Frame notch is complete. Quarter inch thick steel. And then I'm gonna have Blake raise it up so y'all can see what it looks like underneath. And y'all know this is the rear end. 26 by 12, 10 inch lips. Four nine inch for those that didn't see the last video with the wheel wood brake kit and the emergency kit as well. That's good. Yeah, that's good. So just get a better view for y'all. Give y'all a side view of what it looks like up underneath there. So for those that's wondering, how it looks here, how it's thin. We're gonna put cross bracing now. That's the next step in this fabrication process of this uh, build, y'all. So we're gonna work on some cross bracing. Um, but as y'all can see, this is where we're at on the thickness. This is, this is where we're at. But it's gonna be cross bracing put throughout the whole frame. So I just want to give y'all an update. And then I'll walk to the front to show y'all the turning radius. So, so if I turn it, as y'all can see, I'm gonna show y'all it's more than enough clearance with the tire turned all the way in. So we're not gonna be backing up and turning around. See how it got full clearance? It's more than probably, what, five inches there? And then if I turn this side, ugh, turn this side, as y'all can see, full clearance. So we're doing full U-turns, no problems. So, wheel in motion for those that don't know. So that is the mini tub for right now, y'all. Um, like I said, it's coming along slowly, but surely we're not rushing. All right, y'all, so that's the update on Big Lip Taser. We got 
frame knocks, mini tub replaced. We got the rear end to max. Let me make sure that we got the rear end. We got the front frame knocks so we can be able to do full U-turns with no problem. Uh, now the next steps in this process or like the next two steps is frame bracing and after frame bracing, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we're gonna take the body off and do frame prep for sandblast and powder coat. So that's the next steps in this build. And then, you know, I drop the next hint for y'all, maybe in the next video, what's going on. But as y'all can see, Big Lutas is coming along. Go ahead, like, comment, share, subscribe. And remember to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe again. We out, man.